we're going to update the firmware on the Buffalo routers that are using the DDWRT firmware builds. So I'm first going to navigate in a browser to the gateway IP address of my router, uh, which the default is 192.168.11.1. .1. So once you go here, you'll be met generally with the status page. Um, and in the status page, it's actually going to tell us what our model router is. So in my case it's WRZ HP G 300 and H. So I can actually just copy that. I'm going to take the white space out and we can go to the buffalotech.com web page. You can head to the downloads area and in model number you can either start typing it out or you, uh, you can do it manually or just paste it. Uh, you'll notice it, it left a little white space at the beginning I had to remove. Um, so mine is the version 1. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, hit search, and it's going to show me all my available downloads. Uh, we like to keep firmware right at the top, so the newest build here you'll see is the version 24, SP2, build 19484 in my case. That's a beta build. Um, I could take a look at the 14998 bill, which is actually what I'm using as the stable release. I'm going to go ahead. I downloaded the um, beta build already, so that way I didn't have to wait for that. And I'm going to head back to my router page. Now, here's where you're going to go into your administrator or administration. It's going to prompt you for your username and password. This is going to be the username and password from when you configured the device. Um, password is gen generally also a password people use and in here we're going to go to the firmware section so firmware upgrade from administration to firmware upgrade on the second tier and we're going to be able to select our file now after you download the firmware uh, it's going to be over here actually as a compressed zip file so use your favorite tool WinZip, uh, WinRAR in my case or 7-zip something like that where you can go ahead and unpack those files It'll put it in its own directory and we're going to use this ENC file. So this is the firmware that we'll be pushing to our device. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to that now. Have it on the desktop. And then hit the upgrade button. Simple enough. Uh, it's 15 megabytes. Being as I'm on the same LAN, it's going to happen. It's going to be able to push it pretty quickly, uh, in, in, only in a matter of uh, a minute. And then it's going to have to run the system update. It's going to update my firmware build, and it's going to reboot the router. So when you do this, it will take your router offline. Uh, it's going to take your whole network offline in that case, uh, depending on how your network's set up and your wireless is also going to be offline. So if you're doing this, uh, I recommend doing this over a wired connection rather than a wireless connection. Uh, just make sure there's a stable connection to push the entire file and there's no breaks or bits in the file. Alright, so now that we're back we'll see that the upgrade was successful. The unit is rebooting now. Uh, it should come back up and 20, 30 seconds, and then we'll be able to take a look at our build, make sure we're on the new build, and firmware should be updated. <clears throat> All right, and we're back alive. Uh, it set me on the setup page. I'm going to go to the status. We'll notice up here uh, in your browser window that the tab states which build it's using, which is 19484 in this case. That's the build that I was shooting to be able to use, and it should be also listed uh, available in the status page. So that is how you update your firmware. Thanks for watching.